Coming up on this special edition of IU TV News, gymnastics takes center stage at Lindenwood University. We have the highlights, the setup, and the emotion. Those stories and more straight ahead on LU TV News. Welcome to this special edition of LUTV News. I'm Phil Brom. 2016 was a historic year for the Lindenwood University women's gymnastics team and for the school, who hosted the USA Gymnastics Women's Collegiate National Championships. But the story begins back in July of 2014. That's when Lindenwood was selected to host the championships. Members of the university's athletic department and the gymnastics coaching staff began meeting with USA Gymnastics to organize the competition shortly after the announcement was made. From providing the facilities to handling ticket sales, the university played a major role in the events preparation process. The competition marked the first time a national championship was hosted by Lindenwood since joining the NCAA in 2013. Lindenwood University's Highland Arena received a makeover as part of the preparation process. LUTV News was able to record a time-lapse video of the equipment setup at the arena. Several Lindenwood students and members of the university's athletic department helped transform the arena for the upcoming competition. The process took three and a half hours to complete, as staff had to unload semis full of equipment and set things up in the gym. What you're seeing is three and a half hours of work condensed into about 30 seconds for this time-lapse video. Lindenwood University's team wanted nothing more than to vend their national championship. They had to compete against eight teams from across the United States. Here you can see the competition practicing at the Highland Arena before the event began. But for Lindenwood, this was familiar territory. It's their home turf. LU women's gymnastics coach Jen Kessler thinks this is the perfect year for Lindenwood to host the national championships. We thought it would be the perfect year in 2016 to have it here because it's our first ever graduating class and there's just kind of a lot of um, emotional ties to it in that sense so it'd be, it, we thought it would just be perfect. Lindenwood entered the tournament as the number two seed behind Bridgeport University. And how did the team fare against Bridgeport University? As I found out, Lindenwood didn't go home disappointed. The Lindenwood gymnastics team looked to defend its national title as they stepped onto the floor of the Highland Arena. After a second place finish in the semifinals, the Lions aimed to solidify their routines in the last competition of the season. Sophomore Kayla McMullen said several factors motivated the team to give it their all. We were all like, really excited and like, looking forward to this weekend, especially after last year. And especially with like having our first like graduating class, like a bunch of the underclassmen were like, we just have to do it for the seniors. The Lions recorded their best score in program history, earning a 195.875 in the finals. The score secured the national championship over Bridgeport University by .075. With the win, the program has now earned its second national championship in four years. The finals also marked the last time the program's first senior class would compete with the team. Rachel Zabawa is one of six seniors who competed in the finals. For her, winning the national championship means more than just ending her career on top. It means a lot, uh, just because we've all worked, worked so hard for it. Um, and we just build off of each other every single day. And um, it's just a lot of emotions. I don't, I don't really know. Head coach Jen Kessler has been a part of the gymnastics coaching staff since the program was founded back in 2012. She says seeing what the team has been able to accomplish this season is just as impressive as winning back-to-back -back national championships. During the press conference after the meet, she struggled to hold back the tears. It's, it's amazing to look at it big picture that this program has only started four years ago. And just to see what they've done <laughs> with the program and, and the girls that they are. And we always talk about having great character out there and just enjoying it and loving it and that shine tonight. And it's just, it's incredible to see that in four years we've won two national titles. And that's because of them. When it comes to gymnastics events, Gymnasts compete as a team, and they compete as individuals, similar to what you see in the Olympics. LUTV's Daniel Rotland reports on how the individual competition played out this year. The Gymnastics National Championships at Lindenwood University continued on Sunday with the individual finals. Athletes from eight different schools showed off their skills in four competitions, floor exercise, bars, balance beam, and vault. Lindenwood Gymnastics Assistant Coach Jennifer Grabowski explains the importance of individual events. The individuals today, when they get to go, they really get to show how much work individually they've done. Um, 
in order to make the team uh, have a great accomplishment. The athletes were judged based on difficulty and execution. That means that the competitors were able to score more points out of a more complicated performance. The student with the most success on Sunday was Mariah Huntley from Seattle Pacific University. Besides being named Outstanding Senior of the Year, Huntley also won on vault and became second on the bars and on the balance beam. I'm really blessed to be a part of such an amazing program and I'm really excited to end my senior year so highly. Lindenwood University's Highland Arena gave hospitality to this year's Gymnastics National Championships. The three-day event ended the season for all gymnastics programs in the country. Reporting for LUTV News, I'm Daniel Rotlander. For one Lindenwood senior, the road to the championship hasn't been easy. Straight ahead on LUTV News, hear her inspiring message and why she says never to give up on your dreams.